we're going to be the most bang for our buck right now. If we've got $50 to get... The Morton money. Fund, darling. No, seriously, Morton Fund. Really? I really, really, really need your money. We're down to the last dollar. The reason why we were able to do the genomic study was because of the Morton Fund. Uh, I was only allowed to do it on the Gulf War patients, and I was able to take just $50,000 and do literally about a half a million dollars worth of research because I tagged it on to another study that was well funded. What do you think is the most important things we could be doing for ourselves? There's some very important things you can do for yourself, okay? And remember that the, the, the issues with chronic fatigue syndrome are sleep is non-restorative. The immune system's overactivated, not working, and viruses reactivate. The endocrine system's acting a little funky and is a little dysregulated. And your autonomic nervous system, which controls your blood pressure and pulse and all that, is some sort of seesaw yo-yo thing that goes up and down. And the combination of all that makes you ill. First, you need to, well, it's so simple, eat right. The rule of exercise, exercise makes you relapse, but you can exercise up to the point of relapse and you're better than not exercising at all. So in a global way, the easy way to call it is the five minute up, five minute down rule. You can do five minutes of something and then you gotta take a five minute break. Five minutes of something and another five minute break. And you add it up by five, not five, 10, 15, 20. Five, 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 and keep adding five. So you recondition, okay? Supplements. The supplements are aimed at first good nutrition, but you are very, very deficient because you use up stuff very quickly. So you use up the B vitamins and your minerals much faster than the next person. So a good multivitamin, maybe double the normal dose of a multivitamin, plus a good B complex. Omega-3 fatty acids, because they're anti-inflammatory and quiet tumor necrosis factor, but they don't do it till you get up into the four gram range. So one of those little caps isn't enough. You need to get up to four, four, five, six. CoQ10, uh, it was anti-fatiguing, but it was just the best antioxidant tested down, just absolutely sucked up all those free radicals better than anything else. They used a dose of 60 twice a day, but they are tiny little people, so do the math for yourself. If you're <laughs> twice the size of a Japanese person, you might just want to double up on that CoQ10. Inosin, there's a drug called isoprenocin, Immunivir, which is a pharmaceutical grade nutraceutical. And then we presented at the uh, Reno meeting um, our own open label work with 100 patients. And we had a very nice response, both immunologic and clinical response, in the majority, 85% of the patients that took isoprenogen, which is immunovir. The inosin is the over-the-counter variation on that thing. Talked about sleep for a moment. Non-restorative sleep is a big problem for chronic fatigue patients. It's one of the diagnostic criteria. And anyone here that's ever had a restorative night's sleep with chronic fatigue can tell me that when they have a good night's sleep, they do have a better day. But we presented at the Reno meeting our own review of charts and found a surprising number of chronic fatigue patients that develop apnea over time, sleep apnea. You're so debilitated that you have a disabling fatigue, you have a justification for a proper sleep study. So I get sleep studies. There's a drug that's in clinical trial right now for fibromyalgia, it's called Zyrim. It's, um, it's a stage, a slow wave sleep inducer and uh, it, it puts people out and just very quickly, in 20 minutes, 10 minutes, sometimes five minutes. You take it at the bedside, you go down to a deep sleep. Now during deep sleep is when you make your hormones at night, and so that's a really important thing, and most of you don't have any slow-wave sleep. When you get your sleep studies, you'll find you got none, and, and so inducing slow-wave sleep might be good. Siren Will has had a successful fibromyalgia clinical trial, and it is at the FDA trying to get the fibro label on the drug. So it's probably going to be the one that's going to be reimbursable by your, by your health insurance plan.